All right, we are back. All right. Time to fight a slime. So she said only our star power attacks will do damage to her. Now I have built up all my star power. So I'm gonna give it all to Allison. Um, I'm gonna have to wait for her to have it though. So I will need to just attack her to get some star power in. And just in the meanwhile, I will do as I normally do. Yeah, okay, she literally does take no damage. Uh, that is gonna be scary. But at least I can build up my own star power. Blast beat. Let's do that. And then I will do a attack boost on Allison. Meanwhile, let's do taunt with Jody so she can get some hits on her. Because for star power, Jody needs to actually be getting hit. <laughs> nice. Look at that damage. We're just gonna boast Jody's stats with that little kissy. And yeah, let's just keep doing that. Jody, yeah, Jody is freaking tanky. <laughs> BRB making Wham's Discord hungry. Ooh, snackies. That looks- oh man, Itamar, you are making me hungry. I'm gonna order some food tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna get me some food in me. Alright. Any armor, lower defense, beat her up. Nice. Jodi is way easier to build star power with, but she doesn't really have a lot of attacks for star power. Lower that defense. Dodge. There we go. Didn't even break a sweat. And got some gold. I see. I was wrong about you. You are truly strong. Perhaps you are the one Sabrina has been waiting for. You may proceed. 
Okay. Um, here's the thing. I didn't want to proceed just yet. Uh, I didn't want to fight her yet, so uh, I'm not gonna do that quite now. Um, let's see. Where else can I go? I think I went to the side passage there. Thanks for lurking, Fakazoo. Have fun on your art projects. I support the lurkin' for the art. Is this a monster dungeon? Yep. That is a monster dungeon. I don't need to level up. I'm fine. Another critter! Nice. This- oh man, I just realized. I'm- there's the one critter that I already have. And because I already have them, I don't know where they came from. So... There is a chance that I go to look for a critter and, um, like it's already been picked up and I can't tell. <laughs> I am assuming that they're probably behind flower bridges for the most part. So I guess if I just go where flower bridges are, it's fine. I trust that you've got the search for my lost animals under control? Yes, I do. I have two of them. That chest is something Melody might want. It's a spiked bracelet. Oh, uh, wow, you've looked like you've seen a ghost. I mean, beside the kind we have here in the ba valley. What exactly makes you think this is my style? You strike me as someone with a lot of pent-up rage. It's not bad to let a little of that out, you know. Well, I guess you might not be entirely wrong there. This charm will encourage that by boosting your attack, as well as your healing you, a little bit every time you inflict damage in battle. You got three rescued critters you haven't claimed rewards for. Do you want the spike bracelet? Uh, let me see what the other ones are. That chest contains a jacket. Allison, you strike me as someone who could use more jackets that still have the sleeves attached. You're not wrong. On top of that, though, this jacket will double your likelihood of getting critical hits. Now we're talking! You got three th rescued critters you haven't claimed any rewards for. Do you want the critical jacket? That chest contains a hat that I think Claire will like. I appreciate it, but I kind of already have a hat. We know canonically, whenever we get a wizard hat, I never wear it, because I'm a better one. She never takes it off. I thought that might be the case. But this one is special. This is an extra small witch's hat that you can wear beneath your normal hat. I'm sold. <laughs> she will never take off her hat. Only underneath it will it go. But... What does it do? You didn't tell- okay, it's just- okay. <laughs> We're, we don't get to know what the tiny witch hat does. I'm gonna assume it's helpful. That chest contains the visor for a knight's helmet. Just the visor? Just the visor. However, I think it might be of particular use to you, Jody. You strike me as someone who's always putting herself at risk to protect others. The visor, if equipped, will let you use your star power to heal yourself in battle. Seems useful in a pinch. Okay, I feel like- I recently got something for everyone except Claire, so I kind of want to get something for Claire to start with. So I will get the hat for Claire. Let's go ahead and see what this hat's all about. Ooh, look at that. That is a really good boost. Hell yeah. And the- uh, Turtle. Hello, turtle. Turtle's just hanging out. Oh yeah, there are critters here. I didn't even realize there's an otter over there. <laughs> what can I do for you? Um, I got the thingy for the quest. How about this? Bingo! This is the good stuff! Where'd you find something like this? A cave. That makes sense. Oh, that's how I like the present, right, Jody? Let's get to work. Shield, shield, shield. Ta da! Behold, our masterpiece. Thanks for your help with this, Mint. I couldn't be happier with the result. Clice, this was a fun one. I'll have to remember to do more collabs with you in the future when you're in the neighborhood. Yay! Quest complete!
Nice. We're getting everyone all the cool equipment. All right. So we have some critters to find. What else? What, are, what other places are there critters? And if we get all the critters, we can get some really cool pieces of equipment for everyone, which would probably be very good for fighting Java's sons. So let's see what else we have. There's okay, it updates. There's one in the valley, two on Green Ridge, one below ground, another surrounded by water, one in a celestial wasteland. Wait, hold on, how much was that? One through two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wasn't there just eight critters? Huh. Wasn't there eight critters exactly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the last one? Did we only turn- okay, we only turned in one of the critters that we found. Or two- sorry, we turned in two of the critters we found. So we still technically have one. So I guess that's why there's still- I don't get it. Why it's- huh, what? Okay, I guess we'll just look for the other ones and it'll work out. So there's two on the outskirts of Green Ridge. Okay. Where's the Celestial Wasteland? Do I have a map for that? This place. This was the, uh, the place up above us. Okay. Yeah, that's not a huge place. There, there is some flower stuff there. Okay. Where's the door? Where was the door? Oh, there's the bridge there. Hold on, I just- I just saw something. I had a treasure map. Oh, it was just money. <laughs> I was hoping it was something else. That's all right. Hey, it's furry. Welcome, fur. How are you doing today? Okay. So I just came from the valley over there. I already got that area. Um Vertigo shaky, so not well. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you were dealing that that last time too. That is not fun. Is there anything that you, like, uh, can do to help, like, treat that? Because that does seem like it would be a very intolerable to deal with constantly. 
does not sound like a fun thing to deal with constantly. Where is the door? This is not where the door is. Yeah, some stretches and medic medication can help it somewhat. I would not be good with vertigo then, I'll tell you that. I do not do stretchies quite enough. But mostly have money, because America. Yeah. Money does seem to be quite an essential thing, doesn't it? And if you don't got money, well then, um, that sucks. Simple, just abandon all sense of direction and meaning. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, no, we, we do hope you feel better. Alright, this critter is somewhere surrounded by water. There's a lot of water here, right? Oh, maybe like, uh, on the other side, actually. Well, at the moment, I got no sense of direction, so step one complete. <laughs> We are on the hunt for critters. Where could these critters be? It looks like one of Jabba's son is around here. Yep, there he is. Maybe this is where I found the critter. <laughs> I'm always lost. You know, my mom never had a good sense of direction. When we went to uh, Chicago together, I was the one constantly directing us around. Because she would just, I don't know, she just wasn't very directional. She said that she had issues, like, really being able to tell, like, which way was, like, uh... I wouldn't say which way is, like, north... Well, yeah, I guess north, south, west, east. But like, you know, sometimes you have like a kind of a vague idea of like the right way to go, like very vaguely based on like, uh, this is where I like came from. So I have to go the opposite direction to go the other way. For her, it was more difficult, I think, because like if she got like, I don't know, like went into a building or something, just like slight, just some like slight dis uh, disorientation then she would lose, like, which direction she came from or which direction she was going. It's hard to describe that effect. I don't know how to quite put it in words. I'm always lost. I have poor object permanency. <laughs> There's a critter. Oh, that brings us over here. Interesting. It's like a little secret passage. Well, that was one creature on the outskirts of Green Ridge. But it said that there's another one. So there's probably like a secret creature. But I don't have another map. So that doesn't help me. Um, maybe I should go look for another map. Maybe it's a secret. Let me go ask. I guess it would be in shop. 
Do you have maps? No. Who would have another map? The wolf person would have had one, but they already moved on to another place. So that doesn't help me. There has to be a secret critter somewhere. Dora? <laughs> Dora the Explorer would know where to go. That is true. Okay, we're just gonna walk on that. That's fine. Look, Allison, it's a wishing well. Should we toss it a couple of coins and make wishes? Yeah, let's do it. What you wish for? Uh, money. At the risk of sounding materialistic, I just wish for money. Wow, Mel. Wanting to be able to pay for your bills? How self-centered. It's like I don't even know you. What you wish for? I wish I could do a beam attack. Cool. You know, you're not supposed to say what you wish for. Don't be a narc, Claire. And you're not gonna even ask me if I want to make a wish? Do you? No. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> I want to throw Hadoukens. You know, that would be a very useful wish. Hmm. Oh, there's a door there. Did we go to that door? I don't think we've gone to that door. Let me go see. Yeah, I don't think we've gone to that dragon door. Where was it? On the beach? Okay, it's on the beach. Gotta keep an eye out on those maps for the pink doors. Oh, whoa, a lot of chests here. A star fruit, nice. Whoa, fashion expert badge. What does that do? Allows the wearer to equip almost every piece of gear regardless of class. The F stands for fashion. Oh, so I could like, hmm, interesting. Could I make Claire wear a hat? <laughs> Very interesting, very interesting. Okay. Cool. I'm trying to think of like where else a critter could be. that place did I go there I wish I thought I could like point at what I'm looking at so you guys are like what what do you mean what is that place I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> they point at it with my finger what, what is that place oh wait I went over here that was the this it's a mysterious cavern maybe there's on, do I have a map for this cavern? I don't think I do. It's very mysterious and spooky. Oh, we have Jody. Crater. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Um. Is there another critter in here? Oh, no. No, I already got whatever was in there, I guess. All right, well, we found another critter.
So, this is Marina, huh? Feels really weird knowing we have a statue of her in the middle of the town this whole time. Eh, she was right. It doesn't look that much like her. <laughs> you guys are blowing things out of proportion. Whoops. Alright, um, let's go back here so I can give her the animals. Alright, who should I get for next? I really like the thing for Allison with more crit hits, so I will get that one. All right. Nice. Look at, th oh my God, look at all those boosts. Hell yeah. Oh, it did update. Okay, so there's only how many left? One, two. Oh, maybe I misunderstood what I was saying before, where it's like the ones I was describing were the ones in Green Ridge. Okay, so. One was in the caverns of Greenwich, and then one was on the outskirts. Okay, I get it. Okay, so one critter lies here in the valley, so I still have one to find here. One critter lies in the celestial wasteland near Mumford. And one critter lies in a dark and ominous place in the wasteland. Okay. So two are in the wasteland, and one is still here. Is it this one? I found it! Guys, I found it! There it is. All right, I guess I'll go look again. Maybe it's over here. This is a uh, wasteland after all. I'm sure there's something around here. Listen, dudes, I can't keep fighting you guys. I gotta look for critters. It's very important I find these critters, okay? Okay, here we go. So, there's a question mark up and then a question mark to the side. Which one did I go to? I don't remember. I guess up is where I went. Maybe. I should really like make a list of where I go. Ah, is this the critter or is this a mimic? Only one way to find out. This this time I do have to fight. <laughs> All right. Um. These guys probably are not going to be weak to lightning kick. So let's just do a normal attack to build up my star power. Uh. I don't like their magical attacks, but I'd rather just straight up attack them right now. Let's do this and barrier. Ow. The fact that that did so much damage to her even while she, <laughs> she has protected is unfortunate. Okay, let's give you flame blade. Oh, she's frozen. That's good. No! Oh my god, everyone's getting chained. What? I can't do anything. <laughs> oh my god, this chain is so annoying. Okay, well, finally she's free. Let's do this.
Yeah, let's just kill these flowers first, because they're like the biggest pain right now. Ugh, these freaking flowers. I hate them. Okay, let's uh, let's free you. And how, how about this? How about you binding chain yourself, loser? Loser flower. Damn it, I missed. <laughs> no! <laughs> Everyone is tied up. These flowers suck. <laughs> Come on, Allison, kill them all. <laughs> Flowers long, Flowey's long distant color, lo cousin, loser flower. <laughs> yes, these, I will, I will murder these flowers, I swear to goodness. I don't care if it's a waste to use lightning kicks on them, I want to kill them. <laughs> They're so annoying. There we go. Oh my gosh. There's the critter. I think that gives us enough for another item too. Jody just got a new item, so I'm gonna give the next one to Melody. This is my philosophy, we're taking turns with items. It doesn't really matter because I'm trying to get all of them, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> There's another reason that I want to go to the, uh... What does this do? Oh, that's right, it preserves it. Hmm... That would boost her attack a lot. But honestly... Honestly, I don't really need the spike bracelet that- I probably should've just gotten the item for Jody. But I wanted to save the critters, so it's fine. I'm 100%ing. I'm 100%ing this game. I'm getting all the critters. I'm getting all the items. <laughs> Doing all the side quests. All right, so now we need to go to Celestial Wasteland. There's one near Mumford and then one in a cavern. Um, there we go. Wham, complete any percent. <laughs> huh? Sounds like everyone's gathered in the middle of town. What's going on here? Come on, aren't you guys curious? Even a little? Nah. I mean, I am, but... But what? Well, Neff, I'm just not sure what exactly you reckon we're gonna find in there. Nothing good, that's for sure. Oh, you guys are unbelievable. The perfect opportunity to get some answers falls into our laps and you just want to throw it away? Doesn't it eat away at you constantly? Eh. I'm fine with my life the way it is. Don't need to complicate it by wondering about the past. Couldn't have said it better myself, Grud. Fine, be that way. I didn't need your help anyway, you selfish jerks. <laughs> Sorry, it's now a bad time. What exactly do you need help with? Forget it, I've already asked enough of you guys. You're probably still busy dealing with Javis anyway. Hey, come on, Neff. It's our job to help people in need. And if it's something that involves fighting, now's the perfect time, actually. 
Allison's right. We're looking for extra training anywhere we can get it. Okay. Out in the desert, there's a dangerous place we call the crypt. It's... dangerous? It's where we first woke up. Ipsy and I want to get there and see if we can find any information about where we came from. We? You mean Ian dead? Sorry, I'm eating a, I'm eating a cookie. <laughs> I don't know how much you've heard from the others, but none of us can remember where we came from. We don't remember our old lives, if we even had them. Animar! Animar, how could you? Fine. Let me eat this- oh. Very fitting, Animar. Ha ha. Alright. Cookie in my mouth, it tastes so sweet, but when I drop it, then I go sweet. Ha ha, Inamar. Very fun. I, can, I cannot say that I have a cookie anymore around you guys. <laughs> we just got woken up one day in a strange place full of broken machines that do God knows what. Since that sucks to think about, most of us decided to take comfort in simpler narratives. Being an archetype. I guess everyone kind of does that to an extent. Most people just don't say they're cowboys. I've never been satisfied with that, though. There has to be some meaning behind all this. People don't get to be raised from the dead every day. I mean, I don't know if it's a good reason, but there has to be a reason why we're here. Problem is, the crypt has always been too dangerous to, for me to investigate. It's big, and who knows how many feral bots are in there. But Ipsy and I figured, Amelia's back in town, and now we can get help from you guys, too. If we rally the troops, we can face whatever's lurking in there. Except, of course, none of my neighbors are interested. They don't even want to know. Well, I, for one, can't resist a mystery like this. What about my mom? She knows the crib better than anyone. And she told me she's down if I can get a group together. That'll make this, uh, interesting for me. But I guess now's my chance to show my mom what I can do. That's the spirit. Well, we're ready when you are, Neff. Man, now I'm really gonna owe you guys. You should probably talk to Amelia at the inn first. She's the one who knows how to get in. You know what? I was gonna- I literally did come here because I wanted to talk to her. Because I, I had like a feeling that she had something for us to do. I'm like, I have Alice- uh, not Al Allison's sword. That looks like it can be powered up. Who would I talk to about that? I don't know, probably, um... Uh, Allison's mom. But first, let me go look around for the critter. Because there is a critter around. I just don't know exactly where it is. It could be in the crypts. But there's supposed to be one that's near Mumford. So I have a feeling that um, the one in the crypt is the other one that we're supposed to get. Oh, look. And there's freaking Javis again. Javis's son. I wonder if it's in here. Okay, I'm sorry, Melody. <laughs> the Cryptor. Decryptor. <laughs> We're gonna go do some decryption. Oh, maybe this is where the Critter is. That was a very interesting passage on the side right there. There it is. All right, so now we just need to find the one that's deep somewhere. I'm assuming that the other one is in the crypt. Probably. Only one way to find out, which is to go into the crypt. So, um, Alice's mom is probably in the inn. Yeah, I think that's what they said specifically. There she is. I forgot how cool she looks. 
Oh, hi, Allison. What brings you and your friends to Mumford? Oh, you know, no biggie. Just helping Nuff get into the script we heard so much about. Wait, really? That's no small feat, you know. But I guess I'd expect no less from you, Allison. Y yeah, I mean, I could probably handle it on my own, but... Rail it back in, dear. Well, uh, anyway, Nuff said you'd know how to get into the crypt. Well, the first step would be unlocking the front door. There's a gem that acts as a key to get in. I hid it in an abandoned facility in a northwest corner of the wasteland. She must be in the building that got turned into the new labyrinth. Why'd you hide the key? Because the crypt is crawling with the most dangerous bots in the desert. I couldn't handle it alone when I found it years ago. With a team like this, though, we might just be able to make it through. I'll tell you more when we get there. Just go grab that key and I'll meet you at the entrance to the crypt in the northeast corner of the desert. Alright. Northeast corner of the desert. Okay, so... The f factory, I believe, is that building all the way up to the north. Um... I think so. And then there are a few caverns around. I think the northeast one, the crypt, was where the bunny might be. But we can check out the other two places up north on, as well. The Pokeball Factory, yes. <laughs> Isn't that going to be you, Glitchy? You with all your apricorn trees, you're now the Pokeball Factory, huh? Okay, let me check the one up here first. The other one I've already tried to go into, so that one is not correct. Oh, guess Ipsy managed to fix a teleporter after all. Okay, so this was a teleporter. So I think the bunny is in the crypt then. I think so. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> I'm full of good ideas. Chock full of them. A ruby eye? This must be it. Come on, let's head to the entrance of the crypt. Oh, let me look around really quick, see if there's not a bunny in here. Nope. Alright. I do, that did remind me, I do need to work more on my, my Pokemon for Cobblemon, my gym, but I'm probably gonna uh, do that tomorrow. I wanna do, I've been, I wanna do some art stuff today after the stream. The fun thing about doing art is I can lay on my bed with my laptop and hang out with my dog. You got the gem? Go ahead and place it in the pedestal when you're ready. All right, you kids ready for this? Hell yeah, I am. Let's head on in. Oh, wow. This place looks creepy. This is it. This is where I found them. In all these pods? Wait, so this is related to everyone in Mumford calling you their savior? Yep, although there's not much of a story to tell, I'm afraid. One day I stumbled upon this mysterious floating wasteland near the Sapphire Islands. It's cloaked from view from the outside, so when I realized it was here, I was naturally curious. I poked around and I found this. Just rows and rows of reanimated people floating in pods. I'd freed everyone because it seemed like the right thing to do, but they had no memories. Don't forget that Glyph was here, too. Yeah, she helped me get in here after I found her rusting away outside. She couldn't remember anything, either. 
Since they had no place to go, I helped everyone get started building their little scrap town. Then I was on my way. So that means Mumford really wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. They'd probably still be trapped here. I suppose so. Amelia's being modest. We'd been stuck here forever if it wasn't for her. Boy, this just gets more and more mysterious. You're telling me. Something on your mind, Neff? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Well enough sightseeing. We better keep going. Amelia, you said you weren't able, able to get much further than this because of the feral boss, right? Yep, it gets pretty intense deeper in. We better be ready for every anything. Let's put into two groups. I'll go with Neff and Ipsy. Allison, you go with your friends. We'll cover more ground that way. Uh, yeah, sounds like a plan. Damn, I was really hoping to see Allison's mom in action. <laughs> you okay, Mel? I'll be okay. This place just reminds me of a certain other place I'd rather not think about. Me neither. I'll keep my nose peeled, but I don't want to smell any mana leaks right now. We might be in the clear this time. But whatever you need, I'm here. Just let me know. Some words of encouragement wouldn't be the worst thing right now. Well, hey, just think about it. You're not just any old smuck, Mel. You're Mel the Amaranth, the paladins who braved the worst the Neon Labyrinth and the Guardian's World had to throw at her. The adventure with the plan to face the vengeful goddess of magic herself. Compared to all that, some rusty old ruin should be a cakewalk for you. You know, you have a point. Thank you, Allison. That does help. Now come on. You got a dungeon to tackle. Right. This place does look really creepy. I don't feel I don't uh blame Melody for being freaked out by this. Alright guys, well this is actually where we're going to be saving things for today. Uh, yet again, I have declared at the beginning of the stream, today is the day we finish the game, only to realize that this game is still very long. <laughs> I don't hate that though. <laughs> when I did uh, first buy this game and download it, they were like, yeah, this game is like, uh, like 7 to 10 hours. I was like, oh, pretty short. Okay. That's going to make me sad when I finish the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> playing Baldur's Gate 3 for tr tr so true so true <laughs> but I'm actually glad that this game is uh, a lot longer than that uh, all the side quests and the story uh, adds a lot to the game I'm guessing if it would be a lot shorter if I wasn't do all the extra stuff but uh, I want to do all the extra stuff because it looks fun <laughs> but we all we will be saving here today and coming back to this um, next week we're getting close, uh, we're getting close-ish to the end. But hey, oh my god, look, we just broke 100 kisses though. We're at 101 kisses. Woo! Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, like I said, we'll come back to this. So we're gonna switch over to the raid screen right now though. Uh, see you over there. Ah! <laughs> my ears, <laughs> my ears. <laughs> That was really loud for me. I don't- I hope that was not as loud for you as it was for you. It was really loud for me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's switch over to the raid screen.